Hey, what's going on today, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. So, guys, today I just wanted to make a little bit of a different video for you guys. It's going to be a quick one, but it's an interesting topic that I know I get asked all the time on stream. And if you guys don't follow me on stream, make sure you do go check out the description below to follow my Twitch stream. But the question I get the most is, do I play on a mouse or do I play on a controller? So... As everyone that has ever played Call of Duty has probably played it on a controller at some point. So going into the new version of Call of Duty, they've already announced that the pro scene's gonna be on PC, but you have to use a controller. So if that is your goal for multiplayer and you wanna stick to multiplayer slash competitive gaming, you wanna try to make the CDL someday, controller is gonna be your go-to whether you're playing warzone or not you can switch it up and try to use the mouse but i would recommend just sticking with the controller if that is your goal ultimate goal like to be a cdl player someday but if you have no experience on a controller you're a mouse and keyboard player use the mouse the mouse is a very hard thing to learn if you haven't already used it before I always tell people all the time, if you've been a controller player your whole life, Call of Duty is a game where the controller thrives. It is so good with the controller. The aim assist is pretty crazy, to be completely honest. I don't play with the controller very much. I used to be a high-level Call of Duty player. Like, when I used to be ranked, I always got the highest rank in the game. But I primarily use the mouse and keyboard now because that's all I use now. I don't use the controller almost ever. And when I do plug it in, I'm dropping some like really high kill games in Warzone. So that is my recommendation to kind of go with whatever you're comfortable with. But if you're going to go pro in Call of Duty, this is the only option. Do I think they will switch it to both eventually? I think they might, but I think they really should just keep it on controller at the end of the day. If they switch it over to mouse, it brings over a completely different type of person. And I even heard Crim6 talk about it once where he was like, PC players are a different breed. Like us on controller, we'll play our five to eight hours of Call of Duty a day, practice, go all day. You grab me a pro mouse and keyboard player for League of Legends, they're playing 16 hours a day. And he's like, that's something for me personally that I wouldn't want to do. So I understand how that works. And I was like, damn, that's a great point. So realistically, at the end of the day, I think it might go to both, but we're not sure yet. But there is one big thing when it comes to Warzone specifically. If you're just trying to play competitive Call of Duty, controller. But Warzone is a little bit different, guys. This is it's a completely different game. It's a BR game. So if you haven't played a BR game before, you've probably played console your whole life. BR games have been big in the PC scene since H1Z1, and that was four or five years ago now. So that's four or five years of experience of players constantly playing Battle Royales. I know a lot of people played Fortnite and got into Fortnite and all that, but that still puts you two to three years behind mattering on when you started playing H1Z1 or even the original Arma. So there's people out there who just have so much more experience than you. So my experience in using both is controller lobbies are stupid easy. Like the players are not good. They don't rotate well. Do they have good aim? Hell yeah, they have good aim. But in a battle royale, there's a lot more to it than aim. And yeah, they can probably fry in a multiplayer lobby, but they're probably going to sit on low ground when you're on high ground and try to take a gunfight with you. And you're like, all right, well, this is over. This is easy as hell. But you go over to the PC with the mouse and keyboard. Man, the lobbies are so sweaty. I used to drop when, so from what my experience is, they keep bumping up skill based matchmaking in Warzone. Like every freaking patch, it feels like it gets harder and harder and harder. Are the players getting better? Probably, but I already know I'm in the top bracket with the two and a half KD, 2.5 KD. I'm in that upper threshold. I play against Swag. I play against Nick Merckx. I play against all the players with four or five KDs. So it's like, I understand where I sit in it. I'm going to be playing against good players. But why, when I switch from one to the other, this one, the players are terrible. Not terrible. They can aim, like I said. But this one, I'm playing against gods. I can win multiple games a night if i have an entire console lobby i might win one game a night using a mouse and keyboard now and i had thousands of wins in fortnite i was a top 250 player in fortnite i have tons of experience i'm a good con or a good mouse and keyboard player i'm ass at this shit and i can win almost every game guys i'm not even joking so 
that is the big difference to me. For me, per preference, I think playing Battle Royale on a mouse just feels a lot smoother. It's I've done it for multiple years now. It's just the way it's going to be. When I use a controller, it just doesn't feel like great to me personally. But I will say, this is the first game that I've used a controller on that feels good when I play a Battle Royale. So when I play it, I don't feel out of the loop. I can slide hands so I can do all things. Obviously, I'm playing on a scuff controller because I used to, like I said, I used to play high level Call of Duty. So it's not like a giant learning curve for me, but my aim is terrible compared to a mouse and keyboard. So at the end of the day, guys, that is the big thing that you have to decide on. I personally think that for me, the mouse with tougher lobbies just feels better. I don't know. It sucks not winning and it's harder to get content for the YouTube channel, but I personally just don't love using the controller when it comes to battle royale games and that's just kind of how I feel plus I have so many hours on a controller that I'm pretty sure I have arthritis I played college baseball and so constantly squeezing a bat plus constantly squeezing a controller my knuckles do not feel great when they're in that position when they're on a mouse and keyboard they're wide open like this so that's kind of where I sit with it and I'm sure there's other people out there like same experience I know Call of Duty as a community as a whole kind of goes towards the more athletic people in the world they're more, it's more of like that i'm gonna say like dumb jocks play call of duty growing up and i was one of them obviously there's everyone plays video games and if i offended anyone i apologize but that is typically how it worked most of the smarter people in the world were playing world of warcraft and those games because they were smarter and had a computer before the rest of us it's kind of how it was but we will absolutely fry them any day of the week if they step into our territory. Just saying, they can't shoot people, we shoot people. It's kind of how it works. So, at the end of the day, guys, like I said, you can't really go wrong unless you're playing and planning to go into like the CDL or something like that. Because I personally hope they never switch it to mouse and keyboard, but there is a chance they could. But for the time being, you need to be playing on this. That you just have to. Hopefully, they fix the hackers and all that because that's really going to mess up online gaming if they don't get some kind of an anti cheat immediately and then if you are just comfortable on a mouse and keyboard you're a pc gamer stick with the mouse there's no reason to switch to controller if you haven't done it before as someone that is very experienced on a controller my aim is terrible and it is tough so that's kind of what i wanted to come out and say to you guys today at the end of the day there's not really a right or wrong answer for anyone here so i hope you guys do end up making the right selection when coming into this week of call of duty i'm super excited the game's about to drop this week so I personally am stoked and the cross compatibility and all that is so much fun and I really do.